I started basketball when I was about around five years old and then picked up a football when I was about eight. And ever since back then, I've been juggling both. When I started playing AFL football, there was no girls teams, so I started with the boys. And you'd go out there and you'd have boys in your ear saying, this is a boy sport, you shouldn't be playing here, like, I'm gonna hurt you and all that sort of stuff. I think I found some sort of drive in that and I was like wanting to prove those people wrong and let them know that no, just because I'm a girl doesn't mean I can't be playing the same sport as you. And I sort of just let my football do the talking and I have been doing that to this day. Jacobson just chips it high towards the wing. Zanka tries to get there. Conti at the front, huge mark for the dogs. Monique Conti's determination to defy expectations has come to define her sporting career. By the age of 18, she was following both her passions professionally as a star player for the Western Bulldogs and the Melbourne Boomers. Trying to juggle AFL women's and WNBL my first year alone was extremely challenging. It was just a challenge to try and figure out how am I going to do this? Do I have to sacrifice one or the other? But then, you know, it got to a point where I was like, I don't want to give up one or the other. I enjoy them way too much. So I sort of sat down with my manager, sat down with my parents, sat down with anyone that was going to support me and try to figure out how I was going to do it. A lot of the sacrifices that I had to make back then was the social life. I had to not go to a lot of things or, you know, see a lot of people just because I was so busy and I had to prioritise my recovery and my sleep and my food and all that sort of stuff. Huntington goes to an open goal square. Conti runs back on it. She's got a metre on Heath. Heath does well, but can't stop Moncon kicking the goal. Despite an overwhelming schedule in her first AFLW season, Monique managed to score best on ground in the Bulldogs Premiership win just a couple of weeks after playing in the WNBL Finals. In 2020, she was recruited by the Tigers for their inaugural AFLW season. Richmond's an amazing club. Felt like family as soon as I stepped foot in here for the first time. There was just something about Richmond that really drew me to them and every time I walk in here, I feel like I'm really a part of something. After four years juggling basketball and football at an elite level, last year Monique decided it was finally time to focus all her energy on one sport. That was one of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make. I couldn't sleep, I couldn't um, eat properly. I was just um, crying every night to my mom and you know the, my friends and just didn't know what to do. But I really had to think about myself for once and think where am I going to enjoy myself and just be happy, which environment is going to fit me best. I was like, oh, I think I need to give footy a crack this year. Conti, another handball for her. Richmond's on a great journey. They're going places. I want to be a big part of that. So as soon as I made that decision, it was like a huge weight was off my shoulders. So that's when I knew it was the right one. I think one thing that drives me every day is knowing that myself and a lot of other girls are really strong role models for young girls coming through and personally going through hell and, and trying to prove people wrong for a few years just doing it and, and going through so much and then coming out the other end of it. It's all so rewarding when you look back and you see girls that look up to and, and parents telling you that my daughter's doing two sports as well. So I think the special part about it is knowing that there's girls looking up to us and they want to be like us and we're out there and we're showing them that they can do it. They are one of the premiership favourites. And you add Liv Purcell, who's come across from the 